Welcome to Yukonic. Today here on Yukonic, we have a 2015 Ford Focus. On this Ford Focus, we're going to go over the process to replace your front brakes and rotors. Um, so we are on the right side of the vehicle, passenger side. Uh, it's the same concept to do on the left side also. So to start with, you would need to um, have your vehicle uh, jacked up, supported on jack stands, remove your front tire, and then we get access to um, the components that we need to, to remove. Also, uh, I've turned the steering wheel to the right just to give it a little bit more space to get the, uh, the bolts and components that we need to off. So now that we've gotten to that stage, now we're able to start removing the components. We have this spring here, this is an anti-chatter spring, and so we want to pop that off. And sometimes your brake kits, when you buy them, they'll come with new ones. If not, you need to reuse this, right? And now we do want to take some of the brake caliper, push the caliper piston back. And so if you go right in between you can take your a large screwdriver and put it right in the, the rotor itself and be able to pull on it and that way we can depress the caliper without any other special tools at uh, the said moment. And you'll see on your glide pins that they're moving in and that this caliper is going back. So you don't have to do it fully, you can but that also gives you better space so when you undo the two bolts to hold the caliper to the carrier this will come off a lot easier. So the carrier bolts or their, their bolt and the glide pin all in one. We need to remove the little dust boot cover and then there's a seven millimeter head inside there that we use to, to remove those. So you spin them and kind of push back a little bit and you'll be able to get them to, to drop backwards. All right, so they've moved backwards and now you can pull this whole, um, the brake caliper unit off and flip it upside down. And so whether you um, depress the whole um, caliper piston by putting your screwdriver in there or you come to this stage and this is where we can put a, uh, a press in here and just the, the basic press and we can depress that um, caliper piston back. Alright, press that back now we can pop that brake portion off and we want to set this up out of the way so as we remove the rotor and get that prepped and ready then we can go ahead for that. And so you happen to have all the deals if you don't you just want to make sure that you have um, some way to support it so that you're not causing stress on the um, brake line itself. Now we have two bolts right here to be able to remove um, moving that brake pad. And uh, we got basically every second of life out of it. Uh, now we have two bolts here to remove to be able to get this carrier off so that we can get the uh, rotor off. These are an 18 millimeter. All right, so remove the carrier. Now we need to remove the rotor itself. All right, and so I need a hammer to give us a good few whacks to be able to get that off. All right, got that to come off. Set that aside. And clean this up a little bit with a wire brush. This place my wire brush. It's really more. It's just right around this little hub. I want to get some of that crusty rust off of there. So for uh, things to, to go on more smooth and also for the, uh, you know, you don't want 
too much rust and corrosion there for the next time you may need to do this. So, we've got that prepped there. Be able to take our new rotor and just to be able to line it up over the holes. Now, because it's new, and you're going to get a little bit more slop in it, and so I'm going to uh, just put a, uh, one of the lugs on here to kind of hold it on so that it wouldn't be uh, flopping around on us while we're putting the carrier on and the other components. We're ready to put the carrier on. We do an inspection here. See that all that um, grind there. Clean that out a little bit. Again, wire brush, screwdriver, and a good shot of some brake clean if you have to dissolve some of those. Clean this up a little bit so that your uh, stuff will slide better, your brake pads. Okay. All right, so we slide our, our carrier on there. We have our 18 millimeter bolts. All right, we got those on good and tight. Now there are fresh brake pads, and you're going to have your pair of brake pads. This one to go on the outside, and then this one here goes on the inside, and it's the one with the, uh, the tabs there. And so we'll take this and get this lined up with the, uh, the bend in the back, and then just be able to line it over there and press it into there. So we'll slip it over our, our pads there. We have it sitting in there. We're going to apply a little bit of brake grease to this. The glide pin, we'll do that on the top and the bottom. So as you press it in and spin it, it'll um, put the lube on. Be able to get it around all those surfaces. And that's our seven millimeter. All right, tightened up. So those are good and tight. Let's go ahead and put our dust boots back on. Get dust and grime out of there. And we can see that this is sliding really well on our um, glide pins, so everything has been lubed up. And now we want to make sure that we put our, uh, our spring on the outside here. Start the one side on the top. You can do it from the top or the bottom, but we have this little hole indent, and then just make sure this portion of the tab goes on the inside of your rotor, and then use the pliers. I said rotor inside of that carrier, like that. Get it going, those little pins, and then uh, tap it into place, and that'll sit there, and it it works to keep your brake from uh, making a lot of vibration and chatter. Now, of course, you would be, just be able to put your uh, front tire back on, tighten that all up, torque the spec. Uh, of course, you need to load the vehicle to torque the spec, and then um, before, of course, doing the same process for the other side, but also make sure that you pump the brakes. Uh, a couple times before you go ahead and and leave to take off the drive to make sure that the caliper has we pushed the, the caliper piston back and we wanted to press it out some because you can see we did have some decent slop still in here from when we put this new one um, the new components on so we want to um, take that up so that 
And when you go to hit the actual brakes, the brakes are going to stop like you want them to. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.